Hey YouTube world, how are you all doing today? So I thought I would make an update video and the title is going to be Got Served My Walking Papers. Yeah, Got Served My Walking Papers. Yep, my job terminated me. Just received the termination letter in the mail. My FMLA has ran out. There's a bug flying around. And they have decided not to hold my position for me. Yeah. So, you can imagine my disappointment and panic now that... I have no job. I was officially unemployed last Wednesday when I took my last chemo treatment. Yeah. When I took my last Red Devil chemo treatment, that is when they gave me my termination papers for my job, for my employment. Nice, huh? I'm not going to say where I work. Um, they did give me a, a opportunity to decide if I wanted to come back, if they have a position open, which I had a pretty high position, which I know will not be open, um, to come back after all of my surgeries and all of my you know, things that I need to have done. The reason why I could, <clears throat> I could not go to work is because my immune system is compromised. I have stage three triple negative breast cancer going through extreme rigorous chemotherapy treatment. You would think there would be some compassion. And there was, there is compassion. Um, but you would think that would be grounds to try to hold someone's position for them. This is something I did not ask to, for. I didn't ask to have cancer, breast cancer. I didn't ask to have to go through horrible chemo treatment for, you know, 15 rounds of, 16 rounds of very evasive chemo treatment. I didn't ask for any of that. I have been a loyal an employee for, in June will be eight years. And before that, I was in the same line of work for seven years. So for 15 years... I have been doing the same job and I wasn't going to talk about it. I was just going to sweep it under the rug and just keep it to myself. But I thought, no, this is part of the experience. This is part of, this is part of what happens when you have cancer and you can't heal quick enough. You you may end up losing your job. You may end up losing a job that you've loved for many, many years. Uh... I've been struggling with it since last week. Many of you have asked where I've been and how come I haven't made any more videos. This is the reason why. I got my termination papers last week, the same time I was finishing up my chemo treatment. 
Yeah. That's when I found out. I'm going to try not to cry because God has something else special for me in store. Something better than this. But my job is more than just a job to me. Hang on. My job is more than just a job to me. It is my family, the people that I deal with, and the people that I work with are my family, I thought. Hang on. Do I think it's necessary to do this video? I do. At first I wasn't going to do it, but I thought, I have to show the good, the bad, and the ugly, and this is part of it. And if you have cancer and the chemo treatment goes longer and the surgeries go longer than expected, you may end up getting termination papers from your, from your employer. That's just a simple fact. It's a simple, raw fact. Am I upset about it? Absolutely. And are there many, many, many others who are upset about it? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I didn't ask for cancer. I didn't ask to have cancer. I didn't ask for time off from work. The doctor knows that my immunity system is compromised. I've been sick, you guys have seen me sick from the time that I started chemo treatment all the way up until now. And there's no way. That I would have been able to work I couldn't have. So, hang on. So, if you guys have been wondering where I've been, it's because my heart has been struggling hard to deal with the loss of my job, dealing with cancer and fighting for my life. Taking care of my 96 year old grandma while I'm doing all this and dealing with the passing of my mother-in-law. This could not have come at the worst time but that's, that's what they decided to do. So I just wanted to give you all an update on what's been going on with me. <sighs> Sorry, I have to keep stopping. Financially, I'm already struggling. Emotionally, I'm already struggling. <laughs> I gotta pause again. And I'm struggling with trying to decide the surgery that I'm gonna be having to, to get that's upcoming. I've not been anywhere but to the hospital and home. Even when my sons were home and on leave from the military, I stayed home. I didn't gallivant around, I didn't go to the movies, I didn't go to bowling, I didn't go play pool, I didn't go to restaurants with them. 
just so that I can stay healthy and make sure that I don't go to the hospital. This is no joke. I, I'm not putting on. I understand my employer's position. I do. But sometimes there has to be exceptions to the rule. But they're not willing to make that. And I've got to accept that. I have to accept that God has something better for me waiting, more meaningful. I've made so many good friends there. I've made, I've had so many good memories there and I will miss them. I will miss everybody that's there. I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to say who I worked for. And I did say worked because as of now, as of last week, I am unemployed. So now I'm going to have to scramble and try to figure out something else that I can do. I was thinking about maybe starting a resale channel and doing resale. Just trinkets and treasures that are from Kentucky. Um, I don't know. I have to put some more thought into what I'm going to do next. But this is the reality of when you get when you get when you get sick. Is this is a possibility that may happen to you? I'm not saying that it will, but it is a possibility. And I promised you all at the very beginning of vlogging my journey that I would vlog every single bit, the good the bad and the ugly and right now this is the bad and the ugly it's both and it's not fair it's not right tomorrow I go to talk to my surgeon and decide what kind of surgery and find it and, and then uh, reserve a surgery date um, the last red devil has been kicking my butt I've been sick to my stomach extremely exhaustingly tired and just feeling just so weak and out of sorts it's everything that I can do to just hold on that's the truth and this is the ugly and the bad part of of this journey. I wish it I wish that this journey wasn't part of it, but it is. It's part of my journey. It may not be part of your journey, but it's part of mine. And it's heartbreaking. And it's not fair. Hang on. Sorry, y'all. I just don't want to be a blubbering mess on camera in front of you all. I know that, that it's okay and that you all support and encourage me, but I just, I need to, I need to be strong and I need to get over it. It is what it is. And the future is unknown to me right now. And I'm really struggling with it. I'm really struggling. A 15 year career. Down the tubes because of cancer. Down the tubes because of cancer. And there's nothing I can do about it. Nothing. Nothing I can do. only thing we can do is just smile through it right but anyways tomorrow I'll make a video of going to the doctors and talking to the surgeon and I hope everyone in YouTube land and the YouTube family our YouTube world is doing good I love you all so much until next time thank you all for the prayers thank you all for the support 
Thank you all for the love. Thank you all for the encouragement. Until next time, I'll see you tomorrow at the next video. Love you all. Bye.